from the Eagle to the people, let's play uh, uh, West of Loading. Now, are you ready? Play as Eagle Eye Gaming. Are you ready to get going? Are you? Yes, I am. Okay. So, I played the Bane Slinger last time, but I actually want to play as the Cow Puncher. So, we're going to start over again and start as the Cow Puncher because I want to be Cow Puncher. I want to be a Cow Puncher. And it tells you how to move and all that stuff anyway. You read the spine of one of your books. Cal Calvin Swift in the Cursed Coat. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. The Treasure Butchers of the Lighthouse. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. The Treasure Vault of the Church. It was like one of my favorites. Robert. Robert. Roberta Hardy and the Troubled Brother Woods. I read that one ten. I read that one ten times. Bart Dew in the Trouble of Forbidden Forest. Mom. Oh, hey. This one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. Inventory. Walking Stupid. Read. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to re walk really stupidly. You got a perk. Stupid walking. Nice. I accidentally dropped the book and ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Well, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Are you... Oh, how you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm going to comb my hair. <laughs> oh, you can actually call me here. Turn that off. Turn it off. Hey, Russell, how you doing? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, 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 caw. Feed Russell a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and you feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles in your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured. And unlatch the door of Russell's case. He winks at you, calls one last time, and flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trails. Bye, Bertie. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll stack the firewood up for Mom and Dad. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at me and my cartwheels. Cartwheels. Woo. It's Mom's pie safe. Keeps all of her pie safe. Miss Mom is cooking. Really puts heart into the fire. Uh, nothing in the hat rack today. Uh, <laughs> What's in here? Oh, it's my brother's room. Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. On the application day, uh, to, on the application to dy dynamics of general mathematics methods previously applied to optics. I think this is about math. Maybe. Ugh. Wonder I never know what he's talking about. Look inside. He loves this. I got his puzzle cube. Nice. It's so tidy. It's covered with all kinds of weird diagrams and charts. All right, I'm gonna slide on out of here. Ugh. Mama, your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. You're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, before you leave, we got you a present. A present for me. Yep, it's a book that you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... It's the one about picking locks. Oh, boy. It's the one. Enjoy it. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. See, he hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Hang on, I gotta read that book. Quickly memorize the entire book. You got lock picking expertise. After you're done reading it, you donate it to the local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their way escape. Go, orphans, go! Ooh. Hey, that, that, that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. You got an item, brass knuckles. Thank him. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Bye, Dad. Take through it. I got a needle. Your brother Rufus is standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle pack. Hand him his puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. <clears throat> He's got a good point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? I'm going west to help people. You read the papers, Rufus. 
The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of people who go west before get west get killed within a year. And that's the statistics from before the cows came home. I'll be all right. Okay, if you say so. I think you should be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you too, Rufus. Okay. Bye, guys. Hey, let's go give Mama one more hug. <laughs> I just want one more and more hug before I leave. She smiles and hugs you again. Bye bye. Oh, I'm gonna stop and walk out of here. Oh. Oh, he fell off. Well, the bad news is you fell off the cart and you got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you've got no no ride, no meat, no pro prospects. The good news is you're in a town rather. In a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. I'm gonna get the turnip. Stupid rock. Hey, buddy. Oh, here's the ink bar. Horses. Yuck. Oh, God. Oh, I think this horse poop. Hang on, let's go. Yeah, just, just get right up on it and smell it. Oh, yeah. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, it's the cactus thing. Ow! Dang it! Cactus. Cactus. Chunk of wood from the broken edge post. Yeah, I got a broken piece of wood. Ow! Oof. Crap. Hey! Where's your hat, Dagnamit? Well, I, uh... You can't drink in here without a hat. It's just ain't proper. Check out the hat box. Look through the hat box and find a sturdy-looking Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. Er, thanks, sir. Pete. Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly look. If somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You head west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no, no pressure. All right, I'll keep that in mind. The hat box. Probably leave him alone. Oh, that's the basement thing, I think. Howdy, I'm Eagle. Howdy, Eagle. I'm Horse. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the Hound Hostler. The Town Hostler. I don't know what that is. The town Horse Selling Guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? All those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious cycle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? Well, one. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Oh, my God. It's a spittoon. <laughs> I love the spittoons. <laughs> It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know that without even looking at it. You know without even looking at it that it's probably absolutely disgusting. Look at it! Yeah, it's it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing spit. It, it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting and the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer! <laughs> you are now on your hands and knees peering into a filthy crusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it! You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog and, and enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough through a mesquite barbecue and eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like glorp. <laughs> your skin is burning and your eyes start to water. Search! Your fingers make contact with something you pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly. Not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations, you got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray! <laughs> Here, let me, just, just wipe it off on the sleeping guy. Uh, good luck to you, too. I don't want to play Oh, oh, God. 
I'm just a horrible person just walking into poop and cactus and all kinds of stuff. Dang it! Step right up, step right up. Brad's name and trades the game. Seriously, doubt that his name is Brad. Howdy, Brad. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cutting skitter who brings me more rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I'll trade a fine silver pocket watch. Take a dynamite for this needle. No trades right now, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, oh, ah. Uh. Cactus guy. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy, yourself, and the name's Bill, Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner. I drank too much cactus beer and turned it, turned me into a cactus. Doc Ellis warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. That's why you called Cactus Bill? No, nope, that's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Uh, does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, haha. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part keeps, me part, of, keeps part of me drunk most of the time. I guess this might be boring. Yeah, I bet. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or something, do you? No, sorry. Oh, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Where did you get a newspaper, anyway? I don't have a shovel yet. Get lost. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to roll off like a tumbleweed. Ah, oh, man. The horses. The horses. That's right. We got to get the horses. Take through it. I got a needle. I got it. Dig through it. I got another needle. Yay. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All of my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. It's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please. I'd go fetch them from myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for each one you find. How many are there? There are three. Let me see your map. They're pretty much always run in the same places. He draws little pictures on your map. You discover the new map location. Or in whole, boring springs and thousand snake sculpts. Why these places? Oh, I think they like the environments that they are. Thematically appropriate. Here. When you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should bring it right back here. How does that work? They're special pigeon infused oats. Okay. Well. I will do that. We'll see what I can do. Let's go. I gotta go get the horses, because I know there's other things. Too far to go on foot. Am I missing something? I'm probably missing something in the bar. Hang on, let me talk to this guy. Ah! You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see the sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mugs, 25 beats each. Keep waiting. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Eagle. Brings you this little... Backwater. Uh, ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make a fortune, not having much luck so far, though. N work around these. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. And more of a uh, errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Okay. Ask about the errands. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this. For second bird is always fill, falling apart in one way or another. The hostler is always needing help since he hurt his leg, and no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle the goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. I got a weak fungus. So I'll take care of it. Let's go check out the sheriff. Sheriff! Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? He says, the sheriff. Okay. Blessed sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here called the, called themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took the cell door with him. That, uh, that ain't, well... It ain't much good without a door. And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? Be the sheriff, aren't you? Okay, I'll give him a shot. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it a shot. If 
Why do you should say that? Because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got a nine of his deputy pistol. Deputy? You deputize the gun? You're doing tell. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do around here except drink. Here. Let me write down where the Frigger's Gang hideout is for you. He likes a little note on your map. You discover a new location. Got it. I'll be back here. I'm looking for... Oh, that was a book. Grab it. I'm still missing something here. I found this book. Thank you. Just thought I'd say that. Oh, wait. I can still talk to you. Who's the lady in the whiskey mug? Who's the lady who drank whiskey out of a beer mug? Uh, that's Susie. She's a from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. What's that? Lost her whole family to the cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustration about it, too. Ouch. I'm missing something somewhere. I don't remember what it is, but I'm missing it. I don't want to play with you guys. I'll talk to Susie. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. You're gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if he doesn't leave me in peace. Okay, bye then. Well, that didn't help. What am I missing? There's something I'm missing still. Oh, okay. Now we can go that way. Ah, uh, we're gonna go to the the Thousand Snake Gulch. Ow. Grab it. The rocks are really shiny. Woo, I got a shiny rock. Eek. Dang it! Her brass knuckle the crap out of this guy. Uh, tech, space bar. Oh, yeah, I got this. Come on. What you got? I want to skin it. I want to skin it. Let me skin it. Oh, yeah. Press any key to continue. Yeehaw! Skill. Muscle up level two. Yay. Ow. Oh, pointy. Oi. 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 Another snake. Well, I guess it's not called One Snake Gulch. Tag it! Whoa, they're quick. How much damage does this thing do? This is, uh, eight to nine. Uh, we're going to stick with my, my cow punching capabilities here. I'll punch the cow out of you. Boink. Punch. Done. Okay. Yay! Eek. Ouch. Eek. Ow. Oi. Snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good. We'll just go beat him up. Beat the crap out of him! That's fungicide, but it's that new. Throw it! Dang! Dynamite works nice. Take it. Ow. I got bitch mostly scabs. So I've just gone snake crazy, or maybe he was one of the other kind of crazy before. Approach him. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm friend, okay? <laughs> it's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't don't freak out on me. <laughs> look him in the eyes, pat his nose. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like it's thinking of a way of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calmed down a little, but now it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Pat his nose. Carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But he seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in his skull. That head's a good boy. <laughs> Feed him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. Snurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats and it gallops away with a whiny or rather a winnag growl. Hopefully he's heading home and not into the 12th dimension. Cool. Ow. Cactus, ow. Dang it. You don't have to walk all the way back there. You can just travel. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. All right, let's go to the Boring Springs Boneyard. Our founder is F1 Boring, 1806 to 1985. He was actually really an interesting guy. Nice. I'm gonna grab that mug. 
Benjamin Crockett. Crockett. 1320 13, 20 to 1369. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, he showed up. He showed up way too early. Very good skeleton, Captain Turk. Alvary Division. division. This grave is really noisy. Okay. Skeleton. Now get getting past without a scuffle. Scuffle it is, man. Cow punch you. I'm gonna punch you like I punch my cows. Come over here. I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, punch you like I punch my cows. Yeah, yeah, I got moxie level too. Cool. The guy just wouldn't stay put. <laughs> oh! Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Approach it. Your breath's weird, sign. Semi transparent horse cautiously so you're not. So not startled. Though you come to quickly to the realization that this is not a horse that startles very easily. Hello there, hi, I'm Frank, okay? It's a little strange how you do that without opening your mouth. Pat her on the nose. Pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle like you just keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Bert. Pat her on the nose again. Still cold. Peter the Leos. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares through you. Bert. Please don't look at me like that. Snort. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Try the oats again. Held up the oath, but this time she should. But the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are you not spooky enough? I'm sure to make it look spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I have. I don't have anything handy to grind a with. Grave dirt? Is that it? Weird. Okay. That's grave dirt. Sprinkle the oath with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse graces expressionlessly at them. Expressionlessly at them and then eats. Nah. And, and with, with that, that she, she glides away in the direction of town. town. Bizarre. What else is left? Timothy Crockett, 1855 to 1895. Devoted Elizabeth Crockett, 1887 to 1895. Beloved daughter. Silas Crockett, 1895 to 1895. A baby. Yeah, I call that a baby. Uh, which is how it's going, which is boring, and we're gonna go to the point. It's definitely does not bear close scrutiny. Take care of it! I got 50 meat! meat. Woohoo! I like it for me. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. I got the book. Uh. Dig through that. TNT. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Level 1 blasting cap storage. Level 2 plungers, both kinds. Level 3 tools. I want to go to level 3. Uh, pick the lock, yes. I got a crowbar! Nice. Okay. Level 2. I think we're gonna need a blasting plunger for this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at it. I just I'm gonna wrap around on this real quick. I wasn't done. Ah, oh, I gotta click on it again. Fine. Level two. Twinkle toes. Take one. Examine the thing. Level one. Blasting cap. Grab one. Sweet. Hook up the plunger to it. Fight against your instinct, self preservation. You have hooked up the plunger and sunk it as far a distance away. A very distance away. Press the plunger! Press the plunger and nothing happens. Oh, you forgot to hook up the plunger. Add a blasting cap. Add a blasting cap. Okay, you successfully putting yourself in grave danger. Yeah! Perfect. Press, Press the plunger. Kaboom! Hey, hey, look, we survived. It's not that great of a danger. Dig through, through that real quick. You gain 50. It's, it's like there's something buried here. I'm gonna have to get a shovel and come back. back. See a dark horse. Barely. Approach her. Well, hi there, girl. It's okay, I'm friend. 
The horse shies away from you and through though in this case it's more like crippling intervals away from you. Pretty sure. No, oh, come on, don't be like that. I brought some oats for you. They aren't even poison or anything. Rest respect, I guess that wasn't very comforting to say. Pat her on the nose. Reach out and pat her nose. The horse ducks and steps further back in the shadows. Oh, come on. Feed her the oats. Take a handful of oats out of the bag and hold them. Here you go. Yum, yum. Snort. She sidles away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding her in her own shadow. Come on, please eat the oats yourself. Look, see, they're fine, okay? See? You take a handful of the bag of a bag and toss some in your mouth. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than a dry cat food, don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out of the door. Jeez, those are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter the room with a cheerful way. See? Perfectly fine. Peter the Oaks. You take a handful of oats out of the bag and hold them out to the horse. Here you go. She skittles away warily against making a surprisingly good attempt. Pat her on the nose. Horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly into your pat on her nose, but she doesn't actually flee. So that's something. There's a good girl. Winning. Horse finally seems to relax enough around you, so you offer her a handful of the oats warily. Begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You look around but don't see anything. You turn back and she's got. Well, okay then. I don't know what's behind me. Wait, examine the hole. Oh! I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. We need more dynamite. Woo! Alright, I think that pretty much covers the horses. That gets us those put back together. We got the dude. Alright, we want to go down to the town of Boring Springs, I think is where it is. Yep. Dirt water is another 300 miles away. Yay! I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending my dark horse back. Sure thing. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Yep. Thanks for fighting my crazy horse who was eating the local weed again, wasn't he? Yeah, I noticed. Not that I noticed. That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Thanks. Just browsing things. You said something early about an injury. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out some showroom. I did. Don't ask how. It's embarrassing. I was going to go to Doc Owls and have a look at it, but she gave up Doc. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself in the office. Said she wouldn't talk to no one except uh, Nurse Whiskey. Is that actually a nurse? Or, I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. Let's see. So I gotta find Nurse Whiskey. Where's Nurse Whiskey? Alrighty. No tricks. Get lost. Okay. I don't have much else to do at the moment. I need to get in there. There's... Tip your head. How do you see again? You I found these mugs. Thank you. It's not I say howdy. Pile of old newspapers. Take one. I wasn't ready to go yet. Thank you. Grab a bottle. Woohoo. Yay. There's a goblin in the basement. Yep, yep, yep. Offer whiskey. Uh, nurse whiskey. Nurse whiskey, your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't, didn't know she made house calls. All right, hold on. Enter the house. That is a lot of TNT by the fire. Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes still clear and sharp and bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Whiskey. Stat. Give it to her. Cracks up the bottle, fills a small flask, and takes it out of the pocket, then puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Doc. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or me? Me or you? Okay, point taken. Point taken. Hey, Doc, can I look through your books? 
Sure, if you want to, not that any are going to do you any good in this doom forsaken hellhole. You should try being less cheerful, Doc. Check out the books. Goblin Tones. There we go. You survey a book on Alice's shelf. They're all medicine textbooks except for a few. You start flipping through the Goblin Language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually you're so engrossed by it that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurfs had passed, and you know that blurf is goblin word for an hour. You learn to speak goblin, sort of. You got a perk. Goblining tongue. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest hidden in a premium meat. Secret in, secreted in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense. In this western desert by an old cow hand named Curly Butterfield. The book... This book purports to be a Civil War surgeon autobiography. By flipping through it, you uh, through it, you mostly just find it lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually the work of ludicrous speculation fiction. Ha ha! At least there's some useful appendices in the book, appendix in the book in the back, and some diagrams of the appendix. Make like a tree and leaf. Uh, well, shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Who, uh, who's doctor here? So spotless, either she's really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. Preen a little. Yeah, we'll preen that. Look, I cleaned up your bush. Um, is everything alright? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't drink, talk and drink at the same time, so she glares at you meaningfully. So what's your, uh, I mean, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart, and you ask, what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking? Why, why don't you go ahead and pick one, and I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? You haven't seen corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut, looking in to take a bite out of the living. Oh yeah, there was a skeleton in the cemetery. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that that's not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It is impossible. It goes against everything I know in about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients. Oh, ouch. Doc Alice turns away cursing. Every doctor loses one now and then. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. And But what doesn't happen is them coming back after afterwards and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough, buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors. It's friends. It's husbands. Oh, um... Um, indeed. Turns away from you and focuses her attention back to the bottom. Hmm. Hence the, uh, the massive thing of D&D. I, er, yeah, TNT, not D&D. Okay. So we go back to the bar. Then we're gonna go back down here. Talk to this guy. Er, hi, Gary. Hi, hello, hi, hi. Hello, I'm Gary. Who are you? Introduce yourself. Well, I'm Eagle. Hello, hello, Eagle. Good to meet you. What, what Eagle doing down here? Be polite. Oh, you know, I'm just looking around. Oh, hey, oh, Gary likes to look in too. Gary now looking for a way out of this dump. Gary not having much luck, though. Where, where is Gary trying to go? Hide away, hide away from far and far up for popping, popping in it. Then, new Gary everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Settle down, Gary. Settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like to settle. And Gary wants to travel and pop it. If you could go far up and high away, maybe taking Gary with you, eh? I'll think about it. I don't think I'm going to be taking Gary with me on this one. Maybe. I don't know. Are you Susie Cochran? How? How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. Susie scowls bitterly and murmurs, mutters into her whiskey. I saw it happen. Saw the whole dang thing happen and couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender says it was the cows. The cows? Right. I don't I don't know what those things are, but it ain't cows not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Mom and Pa used to ranch cattle and be back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but... Ma and I managed to rebuild the ranch pigs instead, and she left me with the place when she passed. 
Well, I guess a passing herd, a passing herd sniffed out. Yeah, passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to grab my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door, and and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes, just like just like that. What did you do? That I. There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids, cause a fire, and saw Tim trampler, trampled right out in front of me. I just... I didn't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. She refills her mug from the bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here and nothing, and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It's my mom's rifle, and it's all I got left of anybody. Where is it? Left the rifle, left it at the ranch like a dang fool. Listen, can you, can I ask a favor? I need to, I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go. Cool. Take your leave. Thank you. All right, guys, that is another episode of West of Loathing. If you guys like these episodes, make sure you smack the crap out of the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. That way, every time I update, you can pick with it. And I will see you and all of your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye-bye.